Hi, Dr. Sanser. I want to say welcome to class. Uh, Business 480, Strategic Management and Policy. Super excited to uh, be your, uh, your teacher for the next eight weeks as we go through this exciting class together. Want to take a minute and again say welcome and just uh, go through the, the course portal to point out a few things and uh, get you off to a good start. All right, so as you log into your course. This will be the landing page and you know what it'll look like for you as you scroll up and down. Of course, this is instructor stuff over here so you won't have. Um, when you look at the top uh, in the announcement section, always take a look at your announcements. I, I will be posting as you go into course, you'll see some announcements already there. Um, That'll be ready for you. Uh, welcome to class. If you can go to uh, the community section, and introduce yourself. Uh, and then something about references and then text citations, APA title page and APA sample paper, uh, APA sample paper and video. So, you know, these are here to help you. I want you to get an A in this class as much as I know you want to as well. So these are some of the videos I got in here for you to check out some of the basics, uh, especially on APA formatting, super important. And throughout the course, I will post uh, announcements in this section. So please, when you you know start the week, uh, um, look for new announcements because uh, it's important. All right, so let's go back here. And then uh, if we want to skip down here to where it says activities, uh, I'd, I'd suggest take a look here first because uh, what this does is provides just a list of everything you can see in one view. But so when you go into your course week, you know, week to week, then it's that snapshot. So why don't we take a look at the assignments tab? And this will give you that snapshot in a linear fashion of all your assignments that are due and when they're due and what it is that you'll have to be working on. So what's due uh, in week two, uh, topic selection for strategic audit organization selection. And then week three, rough draft, completing, uh, competing as a Christian organization. Uh, week four, final draft, uh, uh, com uh, competing as a Christian organization. So those two build on each other, of course. And then uh, week five starts um, uh, uh, really the first of your three parts for your uh, final assignment here. Uh, strategic audit part one. Then the, the next week, week six, strategic audit part two. And week seven, strategic art, audit part three. So um, there is a good amount of work within these assignments. So, you know, I would uh, encourage you to go into the each course week and really read through what the assignments entail. So that way you have an idea of what you are, what you're in for there. Okay, let's go back to course home. All right, and then the next section here is uh, forms. Like I said, this is another good uh, linear view and all the forms that are, we have here in class. So uh, week one, discussion, uh, business uh, disruption and strategic impact. Um, you have, you know, uh, uh, articles and different things you can read, uh, videos throughout so you can watch and just get um, really tuned in to what's going on for that week and so on and so forth week over week. So like I said, this is a really good way just to see uh, and one linear view, what you have, all the resources and things you have at your fingertips. Um, ask a professor. If you have any questions, you can um, click into here and ask me a question. And then, like I said, uh, go when you first get into class, go to the community and say hi. I'd love to hear a little bit about yourself, you know, um, your name, where you live, like, you know, state, city, not address, but state, city. Uh, and then a little about yourself, where you're at in your academic journey. It's always fun to hear. And then to say hello to a fellow classmate as well. All right, let's go back to course home again. Uh, and then uh, learning extras. 
So um, there's a resource here, tutor.com, uh, text aid uh, by Read Speaker, and then your syllabus. Your syllabus is super important. So uh, open your syllabus, uh, go through it. Um, when you look at your assignments on what's due in the assignment page for your week, also look at the corresponding assignment on your syllabus because they do really go hand in hand. What's important too is on the syllabus, it breaks down the section of the rubric for each assignment, right? So, um, so you'll know when you turn in your paper because that's ultimately the rubric that I have to assess your paper and to grade you on. So always look at the, uh, the syllabus and the rubric for um, each assignment because uh, sometimes um, maybe the assignment instructions there's something in there that um, you're only going to get actually from your syllabus um, to help complete the overall assignment. So it's super important. And then lastly, um, some additional resources um, for the entire class. So support resources and some of this is duplicative, but again, it's another way to get you know information to help you course resources, your syllabus and then the different videos and you know, help aids and things like that, all just in one linear fashion. So, you know, if you if you can't find something like what week was that in again, you can always go to one of these tabs and just scroll down to get what uh, you need. Okay. All right. So, uh, in contacting me, uh, I um, have the LPU. You know, email my phone. So. I get that uh, real time. Um, you can always text me. Uh, don't don't use this up here. Um, I prefer you didn't because I don't always see that, and sometimes it actually doesn't uh, doesn't pop up right away that I have something there. So the best way to re reach me is via email or via text. Because like I said, I have the email on my phone and I have the email during the day, so I get it pretty real time and I do want to respond to you um, quickly. So additional ways to navigate your course room, you can get your syllabus right here. Again, ask a professor, uh, your community where you want to go in and say hi, introduce yourself, say hi to your classmates. Your study room. Study room is a good uh, opportunity if you need some space to, to work or have a conversation with your fellow classmates. It's a good place to have that contained within the class, um, that kind of thing. And then uh, live tutoring and online counseling. All right. So let's go to take a look at week one. And the way week one, uh, introduction to strategic management. And here's your uh, your e-textbook, so you can click on that and get access to it immediately. And again, some additional you know first steps. It's you know the, as you can see, there's a, a few different ways to get to the same thing. Again, uh, post questions for your professor if you have it here. Again, you can text and email me as well. Uh, introduce yourself. Uh, re review the course tips and uh, connect. And this does again your study room. And then watch course introduction, which is um, it's a real quick animated kind of video. So, uh, and then your first uh, going into your first discussion question, initial posts are due uh, by Thursday, and then you have to respond to to two to three peers by Sunday. Now, I I believe in here it'll say. Uh, you know, respond to, to two peers. But when you look at the grading rubric to get the full points, you usually have to respond to three. So here's your requirements here. Uh, college level writing, initial posts are two to 250, 250 words. You have to support your initial post with two APA formatted sources. Uh, and then when you respond to your peers, respond to peers with a minimum 150 words uh, and it says here to respond to more than the minimum of two peers. So you're supposed to respond, respond to two. If you look at the, the syllabus, then I think you have to respond to three to actually get full points. Um, and what's important, like uh, what I put in the announcement for your references, every reference, every reference you have to use is in-text citation. 
okay so if you put a reference down there you have to use it somewhere in the body of your written like if it's an assignment it's in the, the body section of your assignment on your discussion questions it's in the initial your initial post and if you don't then you get marked down if you don't have any references you get marked down well you don't get full points let's put it that way if you don't have any references you get don't get full points at all and then if you don't use your references in text citation that's another way you're not going to get full points so it's easy the, the easy way to, to, to get your points that uh, that you can earn all right one last thing here um, so when you uh, submit your assignments and when you submit your uh, discussion question posts your initial post and your peer responses it's going to go through the university's plagiarism checker and um, for now and you know currently the it checks for you know plagiarism across other papers submitted and also checks for ai so if you're using chat gpt or another source just to create the data for you uh the uh the turn it in has algorithms to to read and understand it and you'll get flagged if you're flagged then you know we'll, uh you'll i'll be contacting you so uh don't use ai it's not worth it uh just you know keep it original and write it yourself so a great learning experience also uh be mindful of the university's um late work policy um for every if you turn an assignment late one day it's 10 percent markdown and then i think it, it uh, uh after three days it's you can't turn it in so be mindful of your timing as you go through class make sure you turn everything in on time so again you can get maximum points all right well i think that's it i'm super excited about this course i'm super excited to be your instructor if you have any questions at all that's what i'm here for reach out uh, so we can discuss it all right thank you and god bless